In today's video, I want to show you how to add subtitles in CapCut. CapCut is totally free to use and can be found in either the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. Open the project that you want to add subtitles to. Tap the text icon and then tap on Auto Captions. You'll get a message saying that your audio recordings will be used to auto-generate the captions in the video. Tap on Confirm and then tap Continue. Wait a little while till this blue bar at the top disappears. When the captions are auto-generated, they will appear as pieces of text below your video. You can tap on one and then select Patch Edit to begin editing the text. The subtitles or auto-captions are pretty good, but not completely accurate. Tap the keyboard to change what the text actually says. If you tap on a subtitle and then tap the play icon, that part of the video will be played. I just want to say one of the reasons why this picture is my absolute favorite of Mike and I is because it's one of the very first pictures ever taken of us and you can completely tell how fallen in love we are. It's As the video plays, each subtitle will be highlighted. Double tap the one that you want to change, bring up the keyboard and make your changes. You can type exactly what you want the text to say. How fallen in love we are. It's so special to me because I love... Keep making changes until you reach the last subtitle in your video. As you can see, I'm long pressing the spacebar and moving the cursor immediately to where I want to make the change. Just slide your finger to the location where you want to put the cursor and then let go. Mike's smile. <laughs> And it makes me really happy when I see pictures that are from the very start of our beautiful journey of falling in love with each other. Most beautiful story. I love you. I'll make two more changes here. First, I'll adjust my name so that it says Mike's. And then you might have noticed that Monique said most, but the recording was in interpreted as was, so I'll change was to most. I can also change the position of all of the subtitles since I'm in the batch edit window. I'm going to pull it down and place it at the bottom of the video. Then I'll scrub back to the beginning of the clip. I'll zoom in, read the subtitles as you hear the lines of dialogue and notice they should match. Good Good morning, it's Monique here. I just want to say one of the reasons why this picture is my absolute favorite of Mike and I is because it's one of the very first pictures ever taken of us and you can completely tell how fallen in love we are. It's so special to me because I love Mike's smile. <laughs> and it makes me really happy when I see pictures that are from the very start of our beautiful journey of falling in love with each other. Most beautiful star. I love you, Mike. The next step is to export your video. Tap the export icon in the upper right hand corner and wait for the export to finish. Don't interrupt it by closing the app or locking your screen. If you do, you'll have to repeat it because the video may not export properly. Let's take a look at the final clip. Good morning, it's Monique here. I just want to say one of the reasons why this picture is my absolute favorite of Mike and I is because it's one of the very first pictures ever taken of us and you can completely tell how fallen in love we are. It's so special to me because I love Mike's smile. <laughs> and it makes me really happy when I see pictures that are from the very start of our beautiful journey of falling in love with each other. Most beautiful story. I love you, Mike.